All right, this is a video on how to draw stellar shapes. Uh, stellar shapes, um, and more importantly, stellar shapes that we're able to uh, draw them in in a fashion similar to isometric dot paper. Stellar shapes, just so we all are on the same page, are shapes that look like stars. So you know, you got a four-pointed star, or a five-pointed, or a six-pointed star. But being able to draw these or sketch these from uh, scratch it takes a little bit of an understanding. Let's grab a brush, let's grab a dot, let's make sure it's nice and thick. All of these star shapes, stellar shapes, start off with a point. Now, to gen uh, create our stellar shape, we have to imagine the regular polygon that would surround this point. So, for instance, if I wanted a three-point stellar shape, I'd imagine a three-sided regular polygon, or equilateral triangle. So you can see there's a, at least a loose sketch of what might be an equilateral triangle there. I now need to add on the points that will form our stellar shape. If I was to come in and connect these points, We can see that we've drawn a three-pointed star. Well, what if I wanted to expand this to dilate it out? Well, to do that, I'd have to come in and extend these points out. So this point would come out a little bit further, and this point would come out a little bit further, and this one out a little bit further, and a little bit further, again, and so forth. However, now, we need to put in some midpoints here. So directly in the middle of those two, we put one, and in the middle, we put another one. In the middle of those two, we put one. In the middle of those two, put one. And in the middle, and in the middle. So now if we go through and connect these ones up, we can see, oops, wrong tool here. We can see that we've now made uh, dilation, uh, a larger version of our three-point star. And because I roughly sketched them, you can see that the points aren't exactly lining up where they should, but they're pretty close for, uh, I think, the purposes of this video. And now we can see, you know, how that star is coming together. Let's say we wanted to now draw one a little bit differently. Let's say we wanted to draw a four-point star. Well, similar to this one, got to start off with a dot in the middle. And if we want a four-point, we're talking about a regular polygon with four sides, so we're talking about a square. So we put a square on there. But we're not looking for a square exactly. We want a four-pointed star. So we come out and draw some star vertices on here. And if we connect the points up here, we'll see what we've got is a star. So there we are. Now if we want to grow this one out a little bit more, just like on the last one, let's see, grow these points out just a little bit further, so this one comes out a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further, and a little bit further, a little bit further, and we're going to connect those lines, but in the midpoint of each one, we add an extra dot. And then we can connect those lines together. Okay. 
And here we are, we've made a four-pointed stellar shape. But let's say we wanted to go a, a little bit further out on that one. So we'd come over, grab our brush, and let's draw it out a little bit further. Again, we extend all of our main points there. But instead of having one dot in the middle, we have to have two. If we were to extend this out again, we'd have to have then three dots and four dots in the middle, etc. And again, if we connected our lines here, we would see that we have indeed a four pointed stellar shape. And again, we eyeballed these dots a little bit, so they're not always lining up, but again, for the purposes of the video, I think this works. So, that's how we draw three point, four point. We're not going to draw any more, but we will set the foundation here for how you could draw some more. If you wanted five, you start off with your dot in the middle, and you got to imagine your regular polygon of five sides around it, but then you got to add points at the end of all of those and then connect your dots For those that want to get really clean with these, you could try uh, using a program like GeoGebra. It's a free online program and you could create a uh, perfect circle, that way uh, all your points are equidistant on each of the interior points and exterior points. And you could draw really fancy stellar shapes. But this would be enough for you to sketch them out, put together any data or research you wanted to on them. Hope you found this video helpful. Have a good day.